students <clears throat> in the previous lecture we started discussing about voltage and feedback amplifier we derived the expression for closed loop voltage gain and the expression obtained was with feedback the gain a suffix f is equal to <coughs> minus a into rf divided by r1 plus rf plus a into r1 so this is what is the expression we obtained uh, for the gain of the inverting amplifier with feedback and uh, the, the the format of uh, feedback is in uh, shunt right so voltage is fed back in shunt format to the input from the output and this is the expression we obtained and if you consider this relationship among uh, r1 uh, rf and uh, a into r1 uh, this uh, a is the open loop gain which is a, a very large quantity then uh, if you apply this uh, discussion, then we are going to get A suffix F is equal to um, minus RF divided by R1. So, this is what is the expression um, uh, we obtained in the uh, last lecture. Uh, in this lecture today, we are going to uh, learn or discuss about input impedance, output impedance and then uh, bandwidth with feedback. So, all these things uh, we discussed under the heading non-inverting amplifier. The same thing we are repeating in case of inverting amplifier. So after this, uh, uh, we are going to consider some numerical examples to understand uh, what exactly the meaning of all these parameters in case of uh, non-inverting plus inverting amplifier. So numerical examples will also be discussed towards the end of the presentation. Okay, so now uh, let us consider the uh, discussion on uh, deriving the expression for the input impedance with feedback. It is denoted by R suffix I F. F stands for feedback, I stands for input and R is the impedance or resistance, R suffix I F. Okay. So to um, deduce the expression for the uh, input impedance of the inverting amplifier with the uh, shunt feedback, uh, we are going to consider a Millerized equivalent circuit of the uh, inverting amplifier. Okay. So inverting amplifier is Millerized with feedback and that's what you are finding on the slide. So this is, uh, one second. <coughs> Yeah. This is the input V suffix in and then we are going to find out what is called R suffix I F input impedance with feedback. This is R1 input resistance and then uh, you have RF by 1, div 1 plus A and then you have on the other side RF in A divided by 1 plus A load resistance. This is the operation amplifier and then uh, this is the difference between the two voltages at respectively the inverting terminal, non-inverting terminal. Okay. So, this is what is the Millerized configuration of the inverting amplifier to find the input impedance. So, now, this input impedance, as I said, is calculated. Uh, from the figure shown, the input impedance in this particular case uh, is given by, I just use the uh, paint sheet for the same purpose. This R suffix I F is equal to R1 plus, plus ratio of R F divided by 1 plus A, which is in parallel which is in parallel with ri so this is what is obtained from uh, the 
diagram actually you just go back to the diagram so the things will be very much clear to you all hmm? okay so what i am trying to say is this r suffix r suffix i f is equal to r1 is this resistance so i am putting it as r1 plus plus this rf divided by 1 plus a is in parallel with the input impedance of the input impedance of the operation amplifier so therefore what i am doing is i am going to put this rf divided by 1 plus a i am just putting it in parallel with the input impedance of the open loop input impedance of the um, operation amplifier so this putting together will give us the input impedance of the inverting amplifier so this is what i was trying to write on this uh, uh, paint sheet so therefore uh, this is the expression for the input impedance with feedback in case of inverting amplifier with shunt feedback so we know that we know that the ideal value of input impedance ri what is the ideal value of input impedance ri ri it is ideally we say it is infinity but it's going to be very large always and given the open loop gain a open loop gain a is also large so when this is the case r i is large and a is large what happens to this uh, parallel combination that is r f divided by 1 plus a parallel r suffix i it is approximately going to become zero when this is the case what do we get is input impedance with feedback in case of inverting amplifier with shunt feedback is just r1 so r suffix if is equal to r1 so this is what is the uh, the formula this is the first equation is called the exact value of the input impedance that is r if is equal to r1 uh, plus rf divided by 1 plus a parallel with r this is the exact value so ideally um, ideally r i f is going to be equal to r1 so remember this equation which will be uh, useful for us to uh, work out the numericals okay so this is about input impedance the next parameter to be learned is the output impedance this is uh, the schematic used to uh, calculate the output impedance in case of inverting amplifier with shunt feedback. So we have considered the Thevenin's equivalent circuit of the input amplifier configuration with shunt feedback. This is what we did the even uh, while deducing the expression for output impedance in case of non-inverting amplifier also so here we have made this output so whatever the output voltage we get that source is put here and then we are going to look into the schematic from the output side to to calculate the output impedance that is r suffix o of f output impedance with the feedback and then the rest of the arrangements are shown here you can see here what is done at this point because we are measuring the output impedance the input voltage is made zero by short circuiting across the source this is what is the arrangement and at the same time this r in that is input impedance of the source will also be zero so therefore with this kind of configuration we are going to uh, calculate or find the expression for the output impedance okay so this output impedance using thevenin's equivalent circuit is similar to that of what is called 
the non inverting case and it is and it is given by r suffix of r suffix of output impedance with feedback is equal to r not divided by 1 plus a beta r not divided by 1 plus a beta here r not is the output impedance of the operation amplifier a is the open loop gain b or beta is the gain of the feedback circuit so what is the implication of this equation this implies that the output impedance with feedback output impedance with feedback is less than or not by a factor of 1 plus a beta okay so this is what is the uh, inference we get out of this discussion okay so with this information uh, about uh, the different parameters of uh, the inverting amplifier uh, now let us uh, consider the bandwidth with feedback in case of bandwidth with feedback in case of this amplifier uh, inverting amplifier uh, similar to the one what we had under the heading on inverting amplifier look at this one uh, the gain bandwidth product will remain constant the gain bandwidth product will remain constant uh, particularly in case of uh, uh, single break frequency operation amplifier it's a uh, what is it gain bandwidth product is constant in case of single break frequency operation amplifier so the gain of the amplifier with feedback is always uh, less than the gain without feedback this is known to all of us therefore bandwidth of the amplifier with the feedback that is f suffix f bandwidth of the amplifier with feedback must be larger than that without feedback larger than that without feedback so therefore we are going to consider now the mathematical equations corresponding to the same so now this is about the feedback sorry this is about the bandwidth with feedback right so uh, bandwidth with the feedback f suffix f is equal to f naught multiplied by 1 plus a into b so this is a is the open loop gain b is the gain of the feedback circuitry what is f naught here f naught is the what is f naught single break frequency okay so now break frequency is also given by f naught is given by unity gain bandwidth unity gain bandwidth divided by open loop gain of the open loop gain of the amplifier open loop gain of the amplifier so that is that is ugb unit gain bandwidth divided by a is equal to f naught this is what is the important expression so here this f naught is single break frequency so now now bandwidth with feedback is equal to unity gain bandwidth divided by a into 1 plus a into b we are going to get so this is what is the expression for bandwidth of the inverting amplifier with shunt feedback with with, with feedback that is in terms of ugb a and then 1 plus a b so here this this equation can also be simplified this equation can also be simplified that is f suffix f is equal to ugb multiplied by k will define what is k divided by a suffix f so these are all known to us under the heading non inverting amplifier also i am just repeating it where uh, k is equal to where k is equal to rf divided by r1 plus rf and then what is af af is known to all of you af is equal to a divided by 1 plus a beta multiplied by k so this is about the bay, uh, bandwidth of the inverting amplifier with feedback so now
let us consider some simple examples numerical examples because uh, for the during the last two lectures plus including this one we are all talking about uh, the non inverting amplifier inverting amplifier their uh, parameters like uh, closed loop voltage gain input impedance input impedance and then output impedance bandwidth also so now we'll just look at some of the numerical examples which will make us to understand uh, the concept of this uh, uh, amplification in inverting mode non inverting mode more clear to all of us so just uh, read this uh, uh, problem statement the 741c operational amplifier has the parameters um, they are given in the problem and the configuration is non inverting amplifier r1 value is uh, 1 kilo ohm rf is 10 kilo ohms a is the open loop gain it is 2 lakh ri that is input impedance of the op amp is 2 mega ohms that is 2 into 10 power 6 ohms output impedance is 75 ohms f naught is single ray frequency is 5 hertz supply voltage is plus or minus 15 volts output swing output swing means saturation voltage that is plus or minus 13 volts the question is to calculate a suffix f closed loop voltage gain with feedback um, r suffix r suffix if what is it input uh, impedance with feedback output impedance with feedback bandwidth with feedback and then output offset voltage v o o t okay so all these are the uh, points to be calculated now so now we are all familiar with the mathematical discussions on both non inverting inverting amplifier uh, we discussed in detail about the non inverting amplifier in lecture 1 lecture 2 we have to just uh, go through the formula that we have learned uh, while discussing non inverting amplifier we should we have to make use of the same to uh, to solve this problem okay so what is given what is given should be clearly uh, marked here okay so uh, r1 is 1 kilo ohm rf is 10 kilo ohms a is 2 lakh r i is 2 mega ohms r naught is 75 f naught is 5 hertz and then uh, supply voltage or offset voltage uh, i'm sorry supply voltage is 15 volts offset is plus or minus 13 volts so this is the, the things to be found so now from this problem we can make out here we can make out here see input impedance i said it's going to be large it's given as 2 mega ohms it's large only also we have learned uh, under the heading characteristics of operation amplifier that output impedance is smaller it is just 75 ohms and also you have learned that open loop gain of the amplifier is large so it is too like in this example okay so with this with this uh, uh, let us go to the another sh working sheet to uh, find the solution for the given problem okay so the given problem the data is tabulated here the data given i'll just write once again because uh, uh, we have switched from one sheet to another sheet okay so it is a is equal to 2 followed by 5 zeros r i is equal to 2 into 10 power 6 uh, that is 2 mega ohms r naught is equal to 75 ohms and then f naught is equal to 5 hertz so all this information is given here supply voltage is plus or minus 15 volts and also output swing is given that is saturation saturation is plus or minus 13 volts okay so let us find one by one so before getting into finding one by one let us find out some of the important parameters that is b b is known to us that is the gain of the feedback network it is defined by in case of non-inverting amplifier r1 divided by r1 plus rf so r1 is given rf is given just simplify they are given specified in the problem 
So what is R1 value given in the problem? R1 is 1 kilo ohm. 1 kilo ohm is 1 into 10 power 3 ohms divided by R1. R1 is again 1 into 10 power 3 uh, ohms. And then RF is 10 kilo ohms. 10 into 10 power 3 kilo ohms. And you simplify using the calculator. You will get this is equal to uh, 1 divided by 11. 1 divided by 11 is the answer. So now from this one, I can find out one of the important uh, factor that is 1 plus AB. A is known to us. B is just calculated by us. So if I substitute this one, uh, we'll get uh, A plus, okay, 1 plus A. What is the value of A? A is 2 lakh, 2 followed by 5 zeros. That is multiplied by B. B is equal to 1 by 11. So I should write it here as 1 by 11. And if I simplify using the calculator students, you will get the answer as 18,182.8. This is the value of, this is the value of what? 1 plus AB. This is 1 plus AB or 1 plus A beta. This is important for us. Next, the first quantity that I am going to find now is A suffix F. A suffix F formula is known to us. I am just writing for your reference. It is A divided by 1 plus A into beta. What is the value of A? The value of A is 2 lakh. Okay. Then that is divided by 1 plus AB. What is AB? AB, oh sorry, 1 plus AB is 18,182.8. So we have to divide this 2 lakh by 18,182.8 and the answer that we are going to get is equal to uh, 10 power, sorry, uh, 10.99, 10.99. So this can be uh, verified by you people using the calculator. So this is uh, one of the answers. This is one of the answers asked in the problem definition. Next, what is asked here is R suffix IF. R suffix IF is input impedance with the feedback. So the formula to be used is Ri multiplied by 1 plus A into beta. So what is Ri? Ri is given as 2 mega ohms. 10 into 2 power 6. This is multiplied by what? This is multiplied by 1 plus A beta. 1 plus A beta is obtained by S. It is 18,182.8. So using calculator, you multiply these two, you will get the answer that is 36.4 giga ohms is the value of the input impedance with the feedback. This is number two requirement in the problem statement. Next is output impedance. So how do we find the output impedance? R not with feedback ROF is equal to what is the formula? The formula is output impedance R not divided by 1 plus A into beta. So R not is given in the problem. It is equal to 75 ohms. Okay. Divided by 1 plus A beta. We have calculated it and it is found to be 18,182.8. Using the calculator, if you simplify, you will get that its value is going to be very small. It is 4.12 milliohms. This is number three. And then one more item to be found is feedback, sorry, uh, bandwidth with the feedback. The formula it is known to us, it is F0, okay, single brick frequency F0 multiplied by. 1 plus A into beta. What is F0? F0 is given in the problem. It is 5, 5 hertz multiplied by uh, 1 plus AB. 1 plus AB is 18,182.8. If you multiply, you will get 
the answer 90.9 kilohertz so this is the feed this is the bandwidth with the feedback the last item that uh, to, that is to be found is v ott so output offset voltage is equal to what is the formula the formula is plus or minus v sat saturation voltage is known to us so saturation voltage can be positive or negative okay so though so i wrote it as plus or minus v not uh, divided by 1 plus ab so we have to substitute the same so v sat is given in the problem it is plus or minus 13 volts divided by 1 plus ab uh, is known to us it is uh, 18182.8 you simplify this one you will get the answer as plus or minus 0 0.715 millivolt is the output offset voltage these are all the desired um, answer with respect to the problem given see we have now found out five items they are a suffix f the answer is 10.9 uh, input impedance with feedback that is 6.4 giga ohms output impedance with feedback 4.12 milli ohms uh, bandwidth with feedback 90.9 kilohertz and then v suffix ott is 0 0.715 milli volt so if you look at the problem statement it should be clear a suffix f r suffix if r suffix of f suffix f v o o t so all the five items are now calculated so this is one problem next let us consider one more problem this is in respect of inverting amplifier given an inverting amplifier so what is given here is r1 is given 470 ohms rf is given 4.7 kilo ohms operation amplifier is 741 and other data are a is equal to 2 lakh that is open loop gain r i 2 mega ohms r naught is 75 ohms f naught is 5 hertz um, supply is plus or minus 15 volts and uh, uh, saturation or swing is plus or minus 13 volts then you have to find out closed loop gain output impedance with feedback output impedance input impedance bandwidth and then v suffix ovot the similar kind of um, problem right so now um, with the given data let us open another working page okay so now using the given data let us find out uh, the other parameters required k we want k value k is known to us it is equal to rf divided by r1 plus rf substitute rf is known to us it is 4.7k 4700 okay then uh, this r1 is 470 plus rf is 4700 you simplify you will get the answer k is equal to 1 divided by 1.1 1 divided by 1.1 so now on the similar lines let us find out b what is b b is the gain of the feedback circuit that is b is equal to r1 divided by r1 plus rf substitute r1 in the given problem is 470 so 470 divided by 470 plus rf is 4700 mm, you simplify so what do you get is 1 divided by 11 so b is b is 1 divided by 11 and this k is 1 divided by 1.1 so now we will find out one more factor that is 1 plus a b given this information so a is known to us it is given in the problem okay 
a is 2 into 10 power 5 multiplied by b b is equal to 1 by 11 just now we calculated you simplify and then we are going to get the answer for 1 plus a b as 18,182.8 once again the same number for this factor 1 plus a beta so now let us consider 1 by 1 closed loop voltage gain a suffix f for this case is equal to minus a multiplied by multiplied by k divided by 1 plus a beta we have to substitute this one okay so with minus sign we know this uh, a value 2 into 2 lakhs it is 2 into uh, 10 power 5 and then divided by what 18182.8 and then it is bracket 1 by 11 uh, if you simplify you are going to get the answer as minus 10 as the closed loop voltage uh, gain similarly input impedance with feedback input impedance with feedback the formula uh, is r1 plus r f divided by 1 plus a this is in parallel with r i r i is the input impedance of the operation amplifier r f is given feedback resistor a is the open loop gain and then R1 resistance is input side resistance. It is also okay uh, given. So we have to uh, substitute for all these things. Uh, that is R1. Um, R1 given as 470 ohms. Open the bracket. RF. RF is 4000. Okay. 700. This is 1 plus A is uh, uh, 2 lakh 1. That is what is the number. And this is uh, in parallel with uh, Ri. Ri is 10 mega. That is 2 into 10 power 6 ohms. Using the calculator, if you uh, simplify this one, your answer is going to be 470 400 ohms. Okay. This is the input impedance. Next. Mm, output impedance. Output impedance, uh, the formula that we have uh, arrived at is R0 divided by 1 plus A beta. This is equal to R0 is given in the problem that is 75 ohms. Uh, denominator is 18,182.8. If you simplify, you will get the answer as 4.12 milli ohms. Next is F suffix F, that is um, bandwidth with the feedback. The formula we have learned is unity gain bandwidth multiplied by 1 plus AB divided by K. So if you simplify all these things, that is uh, UGB is known to as 5 hertz multiplied by 1 plus A beta is 18182.8 divided by divided by 1 divided by 1.1 if you simplify you will get the answer as 100 kilohertz is the bandwidth 100 kilohertz is the bandwidth the last quantity to be found as a part of the solution to this problem is v suffix ott output offset voltage Okay, so the formula uh, here is plus R minus V sat divided by 1 plus AB. We have to substitute plus R minus V sat that is 13 divided by 18182.8. Simplify, you will get the answer as plus R minus 0.715. Millivolts. So this is a numerical example.
to understand the inverting amplifier case right so uh, we have solved this problem under the case of inverting amplifier inverting amplifier with shunt feedback the previous problem what we solved is non inverting amplifier case okay so once we solve this kind of mnemonical examples and clearly analyze the results what we are going to get then things will be very much clear to all of us because when we talk about uh, uh, when we talk about the parameters of the operation amplifier we say uh, input impedance is large output impedance is small and then open loop gain is uh, very large and so on so by solving this kind of problems things will become very clear for all of us okay so today um, we started our discussions on voltage shunt feedback amplifier inverting configuration uh, we continued our discussion uh, by deriving the expression for the input impedance that is r suffix if okay R suffix IF. We obtained the expression. And also, we derived the expression for R suffix OF. To work out the input impedance with feedback, we considered the Millerized circuit. Okay, so we, we applied Miller's theorem. Whereas, to uh, find the output impedance, uh, we considered the Thevenin's equivalent voltage. Okay, then we also uh, understood the bandwidth with feedback in case of uh, voltage shunt amplifier with inverting configuration so towards the end of the um, lecture 3 uh, we solved two numerical examples one in case of uh, non inverting amplifier another in case of inverting amplifier okay so in the next class students we are going to uh, discuss about the rest of the topics uh, uh, like uh, AC amplifier, DC amplifier, comparators and so on. And for this lecture, I am going to stop at this point. This is uh, lecture 3 on module 4. In the next class, we will be continuing our discussion about some of the other aspects of applications of you know, operation amplifier. So, go through all these things. If anything is there, you can just text me back on my mail ID.